So, uh, so Kavi, uh, you know, there's this, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're coming to the close of the week and, uh, you know, there's this uh, question that's uh, playing at the back of my mind and I may sound rather uh, silly to you, but, uh, you know, uh, for, for some reason, um, this has felt like a extremely long week uh, uh you know i don't and i really don't know why this as well like an extremely uh, long week uh, you know and uh, you know there are some weeks uh, that you know just uh, just go by in a blur uh, but for some reason you know this week i don't know it just didn't seem to end and uh, you know the other day for instance uh, you know while speaking to Shweta for instance you know uh, she just mentioned that uh, her, you know uh, she just said that uh, uh, I, uh, wow it's only a Tuesday is it and that's when it occurred to me that good lord you know yeah it's only a Tuesday and we're still a long time away you know and uh, and for some reason, it's it just seemed like a never-ending week, and I, and I still haven't been able to wrap my head around, you know, why has this been a long week? And I and I I'm still trying to wrap my wrap my wrap my head around why it seemed like that, and I don't know how the others feel about it, but for some reason, this is how it came across to me, and I I, I don't know if I sound silly in asking you something as it may come across as naive, whatever, but I I, I thought I just place this on the table with you and others, you know, guys, feel free to chip in and, uh, you know, uh, any thoughts you may have to share on this, Kavi, uh, you know, uh, basis your experience, what you witnessing. Well, I'm not sure about the week being shorter or longer, but I, for one, I have been experiencing a lot of uh, oh my God, it's already August. Oh my God, it's already July. You know that kind of uh, that kind of pace, and of course it's relentless, and it's been hyper fast. And the feeling of being tired at the end of the day is perpetual. Uh, and a couple of weeks ago, I kind of sat back, thought about the whole thing, and said, "This is not." going to continue or this can't continue this way for a long time earlier we have had occasion to think of and reflect on this together as a team and what I stated back then as well is that we are going to be in this for a long haul a number of organizations at that point in time said that when the first lockdown was uh, lockdown orders were issued the first thought was okay we are going to be in it till the end of April, maybe April 14th, I think, April 14th and then the end of April. Uh, and then so everybody was in a temporary coping mechanism mode. So everybody put in extra long hours uh, because they knew that the end was in sight, April 14th, then April 30th, the end was in sight. So all of us knew that we'll, or many of us thought that we'll get back to our normal routines and therefore there was a there was a limited period to which we had to extend ourselves disproportionately and that it was bearable. But now with no no end in sight, you're suddenly realizing that I can't do this. You, you can only cope for some time. You can't continuously cope and you can't make coping your default. Uh, and therefore, we are all feeling extra tired. We are all feeling very, very, uh, uh, very, very broken at the end of the day from a from an energy perspective. Therefore, from the very beginning, if you recall, we've been talking a lot about we have to reimagine work for this new time. We have to change our styles. We have to change. We have to learn new ways of working and thinking about work. And that is important. And in the absence of that, we're going to have continuous problems like this. So we have to fundamentally step back and take a long, hard look at all what we do and segregate what is not important what is most important and what is what are things that we can we can do or we can do when we are slightly more bandwidth present all of these things we would need to do i think for the first thing that i would say is i think we need to step back and have an audit of all that we do 
uh, and that may sound like an ominous task but we can do it playfully but we should definitely take a step back and take an audit of all things that we do and segregate it into the must do and when i'm saying the must do i'm not even talking about how we must do those things i'm talking about what all must we deliver for our existence for the value that we bring to whoever so that's number 1 and from that definition i think there will be a lot of things that will come up as what are things that we don't have to do that we used to do because we we were having some advantages in the earlier world 